this is my 13th week pregnancy vlog. of this beautiful wonderful peach and uh, uh, that's about three inches long and yes I did measure it to make sure it was the right size. Uh, baby weighs about half a banana and um, finally has uh, its own unique fingerprints so that is very cool. A lot of development going on this week and um, I'm pretty excited about um, all of this there's new things going on inside of my body which I'm feeling more and more. The only thing that I did notice is that in my other pregnancies, you know how they say that uh, when you're pregnant you have this pregnancy glow about you? Well, uh, now maybe I look like I'm glowing because I'm in the nice. sun. Oh, looks looks like my daughter wants me to eat the peach that I took out for, oh, for this vlog. Oh, She's eating it now. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, so you, you know how how um, uh, preg they say that pregnant women have this this glow about them. Uh, my I can say that my other two pregnancies, I definitely had radiant, beautiful skin, and I was glowing and looking really cute. Um, but this pregnancy, I have been breaking out like crazy, and I don't know if it's because of the hormones or what it is, but. Um, I'm usually a pretty nice looking pregnant lady, <laughs> but this pregnancy I have like like the, the dark circles around my eyes and breakouts coming everywhere and uh, I was pretty surprised by that, but um, I think that it's going to be fine and that it's going to go away. So that was one of the things that I noticed that was different uh, from the other pregnancies. They say that every pregnancy is different and uh, this one definitely is. There's another difference that I noticed. Um, it's that um, in my other pregnancies I had very, very strong food aversions. Um, with my first pregnancy, I was completely disgusted by red meat. I couldn't look at a picture of a hamburger or else I felt like I was going to go vomit. And I'm not kidding you, it was that strong. And um, like, so anything that was made with red meat, like spaghetti, anything, I couldn't eat it, I couldn't look at it, I couldn't smell it. I was like this huge, huge food aversion. In my second pregnancy with this little girl, um, I had a very, very big food aversion for broccoli. I couldn't stand it. I couldn't stand the smell of cooked broccoli. It was, to me, it was completely disgusting. And um, this pregnancy, like, aside from coffee, but that's completely normal, like, because it has a very strong smell. Aside from coffee, I cannot say that I've had, like, any really big food aversion. So I think that's good because I, I don't feel very limited in what I eat. And um, as for like food cravings, I haven't experienced much of it. Like I said, I've been really into fruit and stuff like that. But you know, aside from that, like I haven't been like craving like crazy something weird or, or something out of the ordinary that I usually crave. So um, that is that for the food. And as for the names, I don't know if you remember in my last vlog I was talking about how me and my hubby did not agree on any names and how he wanted something more Spanish and me I also wanted something that sounded good in French and in English because we were like trilingual in this house and they're going to be going to French school and having English friends and I just wanted the name to be versatile. So. There is one name that we kind of uh, like, both of us, uh, but there's like a little issue about the name. I haven't even spoke to my best friend about it, uh, and if she sees this vlog, she's going to laugh because it's, it's actually because of her. <laughs> um, me and my hubby have been talking about a name that we kind of like, and it's Romeo. We just think it's just 
cute, it's short, it's simple, it sounds good in all languages, it sounds romantic, I don't know, I just, I just really like the name Romeo, so, um, but the thing is, my best friend's dog is named Romeo, and, uh, Louis, my, my other half, he was talking to me about that, he was like, I don't know, like, your, your best friend's name, uh, named her dog Romeo, and I was like, who cares, it's a classic name, it doesn't matter, I, I'm pretty sure there, there are dogs named Tammy, and there are dogs named Louis as well, so, um, that was just one of the things, like, we, we kind of, agree on that name so I think it's cool that we have a name that we kind of both like uh, but I still kind of feel like it's gonna be a girl he thinks it's gonna be a boy but I just I don't know I had two dreams up to now uh, that it was a girl so we're gonna see I'm not psychic so I don't know for sure uh, other thing let's see I also wanted to mention that my daughter has been finally sleeping at night I feel like doing a happy dance you know what I'm gonna make a little happy dance that I'm gonna put right here I hope you like that happy dance because it's well deserved I've been suffering night after night after night like during this pregnancy already super tired waking up waking up waking up and Finally, finally, my effort has been paying off and I feel like I'm going to be ready soon to post my tips and tricks for night weaning a baby because I was like, how can I put tips and tricks if I haven't even succeeded myself? But now I'm succeeding. She's been sleeping from 7.30 at night uh, until about 6 in the morning. And I find that incredible because she is two and three, no, two and four months already. Um, and it's the first time that I have slept a whole night. Well, technically speaking, because I still wake up during the night to go pee, <laughs> which is annoying, another pregnancy symptom. But I will take it. I will take it 100% because... I can't believe it's, it's just amazing that she's been sleeping. So that's another little update from this week. And another thing is that I am also uh, still breastfeeding my toddler, my two-year-old, four-month daughter. Uh, and apparently the milk has transformed into colostrum at this point. So I don't know how that is like affecting how she she drinks like she's still wanting milk and stuff like that But I definitely noticed a decrease uh, in the flow. So Hopefully that's gonna help to wean her She is getting all the fruits and eating them you little bugger So I'm gonna let you guys go on that Paula. Say bye 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 and I hope you guys have a great week. Subscribe! Bye! Bye! So I would like to thank, first of all, all of my subscribers. Uh, last month, around this time of the month, I was actually starting to wonder when I would actually have a hundred subscribers. And now I have 200 like a month later so I was pretty ecstatic about that and I wanted just to thank you for following my journey jur journal my journey <laughs> and uh, for for being part of it so um, I really appreciate it and thank you also to my YouTube friends for uh, promoting me p featuring me on on their page and uh, being so nice talking about me stuff like that <laughs>